This is Physics 102A, the beginning of the Chapter 13 homework solutions, starting with number 25. Uh, with number 25, we have 100 calories of heat. It'll raise the temperature of 25 grams of water by how much? Uh, by how much? So we start out recognizing that we have Q equals 100 calories, M equals 25 grams. Seeing as that it's giving it in calories and grams, let's go for the specific heat. Instead of using the standard MKS, let's use one calorie per gram Celsius degrees. Um, you'll find it's a lot more convenient to do it that way. So if we start with Q equals MC delta T, we solve for delta T, Q over MC. So 100 calories divided by 25 grams divided by one calorie per gram Celsius degree and we get four Celsius degrees. Number 33 is a straightforward conversion from 280 calories. Notice in the problem it says capital C calories. That's a kilocalorie. So 280 kilocalories times uh, the conversion of 4186 joules per calorie or kilocalorie. So that would be 1.17 times 10 to the 6 joules. Number 39 involves the, uh, let's see, the energy in joules, and we can think of that as the work. This actually goes back to uh, the kind of thing we did in an earlier chapter when we first learned about work and energy. The only twist to this is it asks us to convert it to calories. So the work done in lifting an object is mass times g times the height. It gives the mass of 75 kilograms times g 9.8 times the height of 1.9 meters. But then we're doing it 20 times. So multiply that by 20. We get 27,930 joules times the conversion of one kilocalorie times 4186 joules. And that gives us 6.67, or I just rounded to 6.7, or 6.7 kilocalories. For number 44, it has a stone being dropped into the water, and when it finally falls right to the water, it's got some kinetic energy. Then that kinetic energy uh, will be turned into thermal energy as the water will bring the uh, the stone to rest. And in the process, uh, all of that kinetic energy will be turned to Q, heat. So we can think of this as conservation of energy, where E3 equals E1. And even though it talks about, even though it talks about the kinetic energy uh, being transformed, let's go straight back to the potential energy. So we have here the heat uh, is going to come from the potential energy of the stone, the mass times g times h. So 0.45 kilograms times 10 meters times 9.8 newtons per kilogram. So we get the heat of 44.1 joules. When that's given to the water, we get the change in temperature is Q over mc. So the Q, the 44.1 joules, now we're dividing by the mass of the water, 2.5 kilograms and the specific heat, 4186 joules per kilogram Celsius degree. So when you compute all that out, you get a change in temperature of 0.0042 Celsius degrees.